Today's segment of Oh Brother is sponsored by Trivia with Reed. Play Trivia with Reed each Monday night at Innisfree Irish Pub in Birmingham and each Tuesday night at Steel. For more information, visit myspace.com slash trivia with Reed. That's Reed with two E's. so southern they'll get up for you for nothing take this welcome to no brother i'm will lock along with reed lock listening to this podcast that you found either on itunes by searching oh brother or at obrotherradio.com uh maybe even on youtube yeah now that's a new thing well you've been making some youtube videos where you're uh sort of putting our segments on just making the making everything video. a little more interactive we can get more pictures and stuff like that yeah for people who are uh, visual you know visually minded sort of uh, people there you go it's saturday uh reed and it's a football saturday so that's what we're going to be talking about now folks if you don't listen to this on saturday mornings or really maybe during the day saturdays this isn't very relevant because it's, well, it's it's old news. If you're listening to this on Monday when you get to work, if you're going back, so yeah. You here's to- the thing: when when you're wake up on Saturday mornings and you're jonesing for football, even before that new Paul Feinbaum show comes on, you can listen to Oh Brother. Even before game day, you can get up at seven o'clock in the morning. You could listen to the Saturday Oh Brother segment talking about college football. Uh, now, Reed, some big stuff has been happening with college football. Indeed, um, the two and- teams in our state are are really. Doing pretty well at this point. Yeah, both both undefeated so far. Let's talk real quickly about what happened last week with those teams. Um, Alabama played an early game last Saturday morning, and of course it was against Kentucky. It was in Kentucky. Um, well, I I had picked Alabama to win that game by fourteen. So did you. We were pretty close. They won it by eighteen. By eighteen, thirty-eight to twenty. Did you get a chance to watch that game? Um, I just saw a few minutes in there. I listened to a lot of it on the on the radio with our, our friend Eli Gold. That's right, a former a guest. That's right, yeah. Um, I watched the first half pretty closely. It was a close game until right up uh, near the end of the first half. Uh, surprisingly, Kentucky was in the ball game, and then, of course, Alabama, Alabama sort Alabama blew of the doors off there with like a it, minute mm-hmm. left in the first scored half. Scored two touchdowns, if I remember correctly, within 19, 19 seconds. 19 seconds of each other. A great that, fumble. Did you see that fumble return for a touchdown? Yeah. Oh. Fantastic. All right, so Alabama, once again, just charging through the season, as we expected them to do, um, has not lost a single game and is ranked, I believe, third in the nation right now. Third, yeah. And then, on the other spectrum, very surprisingly, Auburn Tigers. The Auburn Tigers are also undefeated. Also undefeated. Now, some people are going to point to their schedule to date and say, well, now look, who have they really beaten that's a quality opponent? Who has anybody really beaten that's a quality opponent? Well, you know, look, Alabama has beaten Virginia Tech. Um... You know, yeah, I'm just saying there aren't a ton of college football teams right, right. now that are looking spectacular, really, except Alabama. That's and true. maybe Florida, but even, and even they struggled against Tennessee. Now, this is an interesting thing about Auburn's game last Saturday against Tennessee. Auburn seemed to handle Tennessee in Neyland Stadium in Knoxville without too much difficulty. It wound up being a relatively close game. I'm only four points, but that was because of a junk yeah, touchdown in the yeah. last drive. Um, and this is the same Tennessee team that hung around with Florida pretty closely in Gainesville. Yeah, uh, I think you had picked, what, by three? Auburn by three? I had Auburn winning this game by three. They won That's by why four. I was happy. That's why I was happy to see Tennessee score that last touchdown, but was upset by the fact they didn't let them kick an extra point. Just because time expired, you don't get to kick an extra no, point. No. I thought you did. And there you I go. You hit would have hit the it number. right on the number. What well, did you, I predict? You had Auburn winning that game by seven. Mm. So I actually did a little bit better on the predictions this by week. By a point, yeah. uh, No, by... Uh, I picked up five points total. You picked up seven points total. Oh, okay. Yeah, so anyway, our new points total, in case listeners are paying attention, I now have 122 points. Will has 109, and this is like golf. The lower your number of points, the better. It was a sad day last week for uh, Georgia, if you're a Georgia fan. LSU beating them in a crazy yeah. ending, a real boring game, and you then know, a ton of excitement. That last minute seemed like it went on for half an hour. You know, I, I had to leave uh, the house and had to miss the last little bit of that game. Um, when I left the house, I believe the score was something like 12, to seven, I thought, well, maybe Georgia will score a touchdown and win. Maybe they want to lend like this. Boy, was I wrong. It wound up being 20 to 13 yeah. LSU. A lot happened at the end. What do you make of this LSU team, Will? Well, that's just like I said last week, Reed. I think they're chalked full of players, yeah. a ton of talent, 
But I'm just telling you, at some point, Les Miles, his luck is gonna run up. We're gonna see. We're gonna see not more smiles from him. We're gonna see less smiles from him <laughs> less because, smiles. Uh, yeah, this is. I don't. But know. I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe he saved a bunch of puppies as a child or something, and now karma is coming back. You know, he certainly has had his fair share of luck. But one way or another, and to, to prove that, he is ranked in the top five, fourth, I believe. Yeah. Uh, even though his team essentially lost to Mississippi, Mississippi State. Right. Uh, now, I really thought last year when they went 7-5, and five, I thought, well, he's exposed. Here we go. This is the, the beginning of the end. It's and still... Now, yeah, I, they could it's still lose. Undone. Yeah, this so. is a team that is in the top five, and I'm not going to be a bit surprised to see Auburn beat this LSU team a few weeks down. From um, now. I could see Auburn at this point beating most of their opponents up to Alabama. I'm, that's still going to be a tough well, one Well, here's the thing. If I look at Alabama's schedule, I don't see where they're going to lose a game, honestly. When you look at this, I don't anymore, you no. know, maybe UT Chattanooga, maybe they might lose that, uh, possibly. <laughs> um, they, seriously, though, they're not going to lose a game. Where are they going to lose? They're not I don't going know. To. If it, maybe if they win out the West, if, if then they go to the SEC Championship, Maybe then again to Florida. Yeah, remember before the season, well, we talked to Jerry Hennon, and we're going to have him back on maybe next week to, to answer for some of the predictions he made. And when we talked to Jerry, everyone was in agreement that Florida was just going to walk away with the season. Right now, I don't know any reason to believe that Florida is better than Alabama. If you look I at don't this. either. I don't either. But Tim Tebow. I'm just going to – just Tim Tebow. Just well, let's see there. how he comes back from this concussion. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. He's supposed to start today, I believe. Is he we'll going see. to? I don't we'll know what's see. going to happen. Yeah, and, of course, we were recording this in advance, so maybe that news point, is actually they were broken. It looks like he probably will. It looks like he probably will. I think now if you look at – all right, so let's assume Alabama is going to come into the Iron Bowl undefeated. I Is it – at the beginning of the season, would you have believed it was possible for Auburn to do the same thing? I certainly no. would not. No. No. I mean, I you and I it, both picked Auburn to go 7-5 and five this season. Right. I'm starting to think maybe we were a little bit off on that. Well, it looks like we might be. Uh, what do you, If you could change it now, what are you saying? Uh, if I look at the rest of Auburn's schedule, uh, today they have Arkansas. I mean, ten and, and two on, looks pretty possible. Huh? I think that ten and two is certainly within the realm of possibility. Now, I don't think that's likely. I still think that yeah. Auburn has too many questions on defense. Their tackling is suspect, and just they're they're an injury away from losing a couple of games. Yeah, and not to mention their their special teams have been very weak because they're having to play with some you know sort of like one star or no star players. It seems like on special teams because Phillip, of their depth. Philip Pierre Louise is back now. Yeah, I'm just gonna start uh, calling actually, him Louise. Okay, Frenchie. Yeah. He actually. Handled every punt, didn't drop. Didn't a drop one. a single one against Tennessee. I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna say Auburn wins nine games this season now. Maybe nine games, nine games, maybe we'll see. Nine okay. and three, ten and well, two. Well, for today's games later today though, uh, that was redundant. I just said today twice for for the games later today. We I actually had picked Arkansas winning against Auburn by seven. I'm I'm thinking maybe I wish I could change that, but I can't. I've got Arkansas winning that one by seven, and I've got Alabama beating Ole Miss only by seven. I think. Alabama's probably going to win that game by a lot. Ole Miss looks – what is the deal with that, with Ole Miss? I don't know. Paul Feinbaum picked Ole Miss to win this game. Yeah, I think he's I don't wrong. know if he's going to change it this week, but leading up, he had been picking – Jevin Sneed was you know, expected to be this the fantastic quarterback. Turns out he's fantastic at throwing the ball to the other team. I think uh, he, did he throw three picks against Vandy last week? I think that may be right. Oh, did he? I'm I think he did. I think see. he did. Will, you have Alabama beating Ole Miss only by three, and you have Auburn beating Arkansas only by three. Would you change those if you could right now? I may change the Alabama one. I may have Alabama winning by uh, 13. More, 13. More than three. You still going to say Auburn winning against Arkansas? I am, yep. Yeah, I would too. I'm going to keep that. It's going to be interesting to see them play Tough at 11 game. in the morning. Early in the morning. Because they're playing this morning because every other game has been a 6 or 6.45. In Fayetteville. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, here's an interesting one today. Yeah. Tennessee and Georgia. I mean, those are two teams that both are desperate for a win. I got to think Georgia wins that game. Even though Georgia does not look great this season, they are not the same.